transistors. A bipolar junction transistor is a three terminal semiconductor device which consists of two pn junctions. It is used to regulate current or to amplify an input signal. It is a current control device. There are mainly two types of transistors NPN transistor and PNB transistor. This is the block diagram of an NPN transistor NPN emitter base collector and the emitter base junction is forward bias collector base junction is reverse bias and you can see the direction of emitter base and collector currents and this is the PNB transistor emitter base collector and you can see the direction of emitter base and collector currents so the symbol of NPN transistor PNB transistor and one of the industrially available transistor BC 105 transistor configurations there are mainly three different transistor configurations common base connection common emitter and common collector connections the common base connections in in common base connection the base of the transistor is common to both input and output this is an NPN transistor and this is the PNB transistor current amplification factor is the ratio of output current to the input current at constant output voltage in general here it is the ratio of change in collector current delta IC to the change in emitter current delta E at constant collector base voltage or alpha is equal to delta IC by delta I at I at a constant VCB its value is in the range of 0 0.9 to 0 0.99 now the total collector current can be calculated as the following way total collector current consists of a part of emitter current reaches the collector terminal that is alpha IE and the leakage current leakage current is due to the movement of minority carriers across the base collector junction since the base collector junction is reverse biased therefore ic is equal to alpha ie plus i leakage even if ie equal to zero there is a small leakage current flows in the collector circuit that is called i leakage or icbo so this is if emitter is open there is a small leakage current ICBO it means collector base with the emitter open that is ICBO therefore IC is equal to alpha IE plus ICBO or we have IE is equal to IC plus IB therefore IC is equal to alpha into IE is IC plus IB plus ICBO the IC into 1 minus alpha into alpha IB is equal to ICBO or IC is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha IB plus ICBO by 1 by 1 minus alpha this is the collector expression for collector current now let us discuss the characteristics of common base connection so first the input characteristics input characteristic is the curve connecting the emitter current and emitter base voltage at constant VCB collector base voltage so here the emitter current increases rapidly with a small increase in uh, VEB means the input resistance is very small and I is almost independent of VCB input resistance is the ratio of change in emitter base voltage to the resultant change in emitter current at a constant collector base voltage or RI is equal to delta VBE by delta I at a constant VCB its value is of the order of a few ohms now the output characteristic is the curve connecting ic and uh, vcb at constant ie so ic varies with the the, the points are the ic varies with the uh, vcb for a for this region so less than one volt and above one volt it is almost constant so IC varies with VCB only at a very low voltage less than 1 volt but the transistor will never operate in this region then is this region when VCB raised above 1 volt it become 
a constant that is ic is independent of vcb and depends only on this i a very large change in vcb produces a small change in ic that means the output resistance is very high the output resistance is therefore ro is equal to delta vcb by delta ic at constant i its value is of the order of several tens of kilo ohm the common emitter connection in common emitter connection the emitter is common to both input and output this is an npn circuit this is an pnp circuit the current amplification factor is beta which is equal to delta ic by delta ib at a constant vce its value is in the range of 20 to 500 let us calculate the relation between beta and alpha we have ie is equal to ib plus ic therefore delta e is equal to delta ib plus delta ic or delta ib is this delta e minus delta ic therefore beta is delta ic by delta ib but delta ib is delta e minus delta ic now multiply with the delta e by delta e so we have beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha that is the relation between beta and alpha now the collector current we have ic is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha ib plus icbo by 1 minus alpha this alpha by 1 minus alpha is beta and icbo by 1 minus alpha is iceo collector emitter with the base open therefore ic is equal to beta ib plus iceo this is the circuit base open therefore the emitter current is iceo collector emitter with the base open i is equal to ic plus ib or i is equal to ic is beta ib plus iceo plus ib therefore beta plus 1 ib plus iceo that is ie then ice is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha in icbo 1 by 1 minus alpha is beta plus 1 that is ic is equal to beta plus 1 icbo this is a circuit for icbo this is the collector current when emitter open and this is the collector current when base open that is ICEO. Input characteristic is the curve between uh, IB and VBE. It is almost similar to that of a forward bias diode. It is because the uh, emitter base junction of the transistor is forward bias and IB increases less rapidly with VBE okay, and the input resistance is RI is equal to delta VBE by delta IB at a constant VCE its value is of the order of a few hundred ohms the output characteristic is the curve between IC and VCE at constant IB IC varies with VCE for VCE between 0 and 1 this value okay here it changes and this point is called when VCE raised above 1 volt this point is called the knee voltage when it increases above one voltage it is ic is almost constant or we can say ic is independent of vce only depends on ib the value of vc up to which ic changes with vc is the knee voltage this is the knee voltage the output resistance is ro is equal to delta vc by delta ic are constant ib it is of the order of 50 kilo ohm now common collector here the collector is common to both input and output this NPN circuit, this is the PNB circuit. Current amplification factor gamma is delta E by delta IB at constant VCE. Now we can calculate the relation between gamma and alpha. Uh, here we have gamma is equal to delta E by delta IB, that is delta E by delta E minus delta IC. So this is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha. It is a relation between gamma and alpha. The total current of a common collector configuration is given by IC is approximately equal to IE which is equal to beta plus 1 IB plus beta plus 1 ICBO. We can compare the three configuration as follows. So the common base configuration is normally used for high frequency applications and common emitter configuration is normally used for OD frequency applications and common collector is used in impedance matching. Now the transistor load line analysis. First the DC load line. 
let us consider a common emitter npn transistor circuit where no signal is applied that means there is zero signal or no signal okay and the output characteristic is this one from this cross mesh vcc is equal to icrc plus vce or vce is equal to vcc minus icrc when ic equal to zero vce will be maximum and the maximum value of vc is vcc similarly when vc is zero ic is maximum and maximum value of ic is vcc by rc that means these two points a and b a line connecting a and b it is a straight line it is called dc load line of the transistor the, the zero signal value of ic zero signal value of ic and vce are known as operating point an operating point is a point in the dc load line also it is called a quiescent point or q point so this is the q point so we can obtain the value of q point it is called q point because when you apply the signal the circuit performs around the q value that's why it is called operating point or q point and we can see the cutoff and the saturation points so we have this output characteristic for a common emitter uh, there are specifically some points one two and some regions first one is the cutoff region the cutoff region or cutoff point cutoff point is this point means the point where the load line intersects the ib equal to zero curve or this point this region is called a cutoff region at the cutoff ib is zero therefore only very small collector current flows and that collector current is iceo and vce is approximately equal to vcc itself second is the saturation point saturation is the point where the load line intersects ib is equal to ib saturation curve this ib saturation curve or this point okay and this region is called saturation region the base current is maximum here the at saturation point the base current is maximum ib saturation is maximum base current base current is maximum and therefore the collector current is also maximum and ic saturation is approximately equal to vcc by rc and vce is vc saturation or the new voltage vini and the region between the saturation and cutoff is called active region in the cutoff region the transistor is acted as a as an open one so there is no base current collector current or emitter current so it is an open one in the saturated region it is just like a uh, shortened between collector and emitter or we can say this is a open switch and this is a closed switch so in this way a transistor can be used as a switch so in the active region the collector current is beta times ib or the input is amplified beta times or in the active region a transistor act as a an amplifier